Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 224. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 221 to 229. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to extract a prefix. So here we have a product ID, PFFFT777. We just want the first letters, right? As soon as it gets to numbers, forget it. Everything else is... Uh, hacked off and we just want the the first uh, few letters now it would be relatively straight easy relatively straightforward and easy if we had something like a dash or a space we've seen this formula before we say left and we ask the find function to find a dash so it finds uh, the dash which is the fifth character we subtract one which is four and we say the left of that and it grabs that but what in the world do we do when our pattern is, uh, there's no spaces, there's no dashes, nothing like that. We have a number. Well, in order to ask the question of a text string like this, we just saw it in this video here, you actually have to extract, or one way to do it is to extract out all the individual characters and then ask, hey, can you find this number or some other method? So let's see if we can do that. We did it just over here. We'll do it here again. We just want to first See if we can take this and, from a text string, create an array of individual characters. We're going to start out with mid. We're going to say the mid of this, comma, and our starting number needs to be an array of values. So if this is from 1 to 13 characters, we need 1 to 13 here. We can't just type 1 to 13 because there are varying lengths here. So here's where we do our trick, row indirect. And in indirect, row tells us how many rows. Indirect takes a uh, reference as text and converts into a reference. So we'll do in quotes, double quotes, one colon, in quotes, end quotes, ampersand, and then len of this. Now what that'll do is it'll give us, uh, and then let's close parentheses on the indirect and close parentheses on the rows. This 1 to length will give us the numbers 1 to 13th. The indirect will convert it to a uh, row reference. And the row will convert it to actual uh, numbers, an array. If I hit F9, you can see 1 through 13. Control Z. Now, and then we want comma 1, because we have to we have our starting point 1 to 13, and we're always taking one character. Now close parentheses on the mid, and then you can go ahead and highlight that and hit F9 and see if it's an, it's an array of all those individual characters. Control Z. Now uh, let's do some little uh, trickery here, because we need to find that number right there. Now the problem, if we asked, it, is, is it a number, this uh, text string here, when you do mid and extract all these characters, it's act, they're actually text. So we can't ask, is number. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 1 times. That'll uh, multiply. But remember, this whole thing right here, zh, F9. Oh, there's some letters. So I'm going to go 1 times a letter. It'll give us a, an error. 1 times a number will be a number. I'm going to Control-Z. So around this, I'm going to say, is error. And now it'll give us a string of trues and falses. Let's just take a little look here by F9 in and see what happens. True, 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 false. So it's not, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there we have a pattern, right? We have a false right there. That's that number. So I'm going to control Z here. And so watch this. One way to extract that is to use the match. only I could type mat. There it is. I'm just going to double click that because I'm in 2007. Now, the lookup value for match will be false because remember, the uh, numbers were false. Now, we come to the end of, ma of uh, the match. We have the, the lookup value. This is the lookup array. We put a parentheses right here and I um, mean, you know, put our cursor right there and hit comma. We get to match type. Hey, I'm going to say zero for exact. Now, what does match do? Match, if there's lots of falses or whatever it's looking at up, it only returns the p position, the ordinal position of the very first one, which is what we want. Remember our trues and falses, there was a false right there. Now, uh, and you, we can highlight this and do our F9 and see that it gives us 5. Control Z. Now, that's not going to work because we want 4, so we'll say minus 1. 
What does that give us? That gives us our 4. Now we can use the left function, left of that whole thing right there. Uh, boop comma. So now we've done left. And then there's that big, long th thing right here. Just gives us the number 4, right? Control Z. So you got to come to the end and uh, another parentheses and Control Shift Enter. And double click and send it down. And sure enough, it extracted the first four characters. Again, the importance of this one was that we didn't have some character we could recognize a pattern. But we could see a pattern that as soon as we hit the number, everything before it we wanted. And so we did uh, that little array formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.